I'm so pleased to be here at the Surrey Women's Center today uh, to hear uh, from workers uh, the, and volunteers. We've been talking this morning about some of the challenges they face, uh, some of the, the funding needs that would make such an important important difference in so many people's lives. Community-based organizations like the Surrey Women's Centre provide critical outreach and counselling uh, and crisis support to survivors and for too long centres like these have not been given the resources that they need. So I want to thank every one of the outreach workers here and counsellors and uh, proudly announce that uh, British Columbia will add an additional five million dollars in one-time funding to support women and children affected by violence. For over 40 years, women's anti-violence programs have been uh, on the front lines, raising awareness to every, anyone who will listen to talk about sexual assault, domestic violence and child abuse. And I think today the statement um, is about respect and it's about hearing those workers on the front lines. The funding we're announced today has essentially two overarching public safety goals. The first is immediate, it's about helping a host of agencies to help address high demand for programs reduce wait lists so women and children can get timely help to escape violent situations. The second goal is longer term. If we want to change attitudes and behaviors and eradicate gender-based violence, there's a great opportunity to be seized on with our youth. Funding from a government that shares our commitment to gender justice uh, is an important sign that this sector is valued. So I thank the BC government for showing up and letting us know that the women we serve have been seen and are being heard.